Yo, what is going on guys? It's your boy the Golden Boy and today we are back on Apex Legends and today what I have for you guys is the truth about my stats. Now if you hear my PS4 a little bit in the background, I'm not going to be surprised because I need to dust that thing out. It's got a little bit of dust in it and it sounds like a goddamn jet right now. So if you hear a little bit of like, you know, muffling in the background, it's probably just the PS4 trying to have a stroke at this point. And uh, yeah, so getting on to the actual video is the truth about my stats. Now I get a lot of accusations and last video was just kind of like a fun video. Of just I'm just going to say the word strike pack because everybody thinks that if you have good stats or good aim or you're a good player this and that that you cheat you have a strike pack you have this you have that you do this like they just don't understand that how about you just try to get a little bit better like if i seen someone with better stats than mine let's say or that i think was better than me better aim than me i'm not going to sit there and accuse them of being a cheater i'm going to sit there and be like wow these kids are pretty good I'm going to have to up my game. So instead of getting better, these kids like to find excuses and everything like that. But those are just for the haters. I already know there's a lot of people that support me out there and stuff like that. But getting into the actual stats themselves, and I'm going to talk about a few things on why my stats are legit. And a lot of people say that I play bot lobbies or uh, that I dashboard. Okay, so the first one is dashboarding. Like, that is the easiest one to show that I do not dashboard. Like, a lot of solo players you will see out there that have thousands of deaths that do not register on their combat record now if you look at my combat record right here you'll see 2430 deaths and if you add that to my wins so wins means i have not died in that game statistically right i could have died and then been respawned whatever it may be but if you add those to my wins it comes out to about uh 63 ish or yeah around almost 63 uh, 100 games played so there's 130 games that are unaccounted for when it comes to deaths now a lot of those are actually blue screens or errors from the actual game itself and i would say probably 75 50 to about 75 times is from me rage quitting lately um around from like just getting finished or you know what i mean like everybody gets mad at the game or just leaves when they're playing with a buddy and they're both their people are down and their teammates in absolutely nowhere right so there's that happens a few times right uh, but even with that, my KD would still be around a 24, so still very high or whatever it may be. Uh, so that is the first thing, dashboarding. Super easy to talk about. Uh, it's it's really just the stats. You can't really like lie when it comes to numbers like that. Another thing is, people would say that I dashboarded back in the day, so things like that. If you go to my actual Season 2 Battle Charge, this is when stats first came out, right? So my stats, when they first came out, were at 23.48. And when the game came out, you didn't have any stats. So why would I dashboard games when you couldn't even see your stats there was literally like three like three trackers that would even like determine how your kd would be i thought my kd at one point was like a 10 or a 15 until i did it right and i was like oh i think it might be like a 20 something but that was just like speculation until these actually came out and then once these actually came out i seen that my kd was a 23.4 and this was from a lot of solo queuing like 95 percent of solo queuing and then obviously if you play with a three stack it's going to go up a little bit like this was a 26 at one point in time my overall kd and now it's a 24.5 obviously skill based happens and i play with just a friend here or there i want to get more kills lately so i've been playing with not as many three stacks and it goes up it goes down like it was at a 26 it went down by 1.5 it's been up by one from this very first day right so one kd throughout the entire time of like four seasons is not that bad you know what i mean and then like each season like season three meltdown was a 33 which is very very high but i've only played a little bit of games compared to what i usually play and um I would play with one other person, which was a super sweat satiability, and we would just run duo squads and just mop the lobby, and then skill base kicked in, didn't play as much. Season 4 went down a little bit, right? And then Season 5 went down again, so skill based still a thing. And then Season 6, uh, which is right about here, which is like the same thing. So it's gradually been going a little bit lower. I'm going to bring this back up throughout the season uh, and try and get to like my own goals and stuff like that. But obviously, when how long the game's been out, you're going to get drained, right? You're going to be less motivated to sweat. You're going to be less motivated to just keep these stats up, this and that. But yeah, they fluctuate. They go up, they go down. It just depends on the day, how good I'm playing, uh, how much skill base is cranked, who I'm playing with, stuff like that. But yeah, these are the truth to my stats. I'm going to talk. I literally talked about like the things that everybody would say, like bot lobbies. You would literally will never see me in a bot lobby game. Like these people that say like, oh, you've been in bot lobbies or oh, you dashboard. You will never have seen me actually do these things because there's no video proof because I've never done it. So hope you guys do enjoy the rest of this gameplay. Thought it would be a funny topic to talk about because everybody likes to accuse people of cheating or doing these things when they're just really not that good at the game. Like if you say someone has a strike pack, I'm going to go ahead and think that you're not that good at the game. Like 95% of people that say that are dog shit at the game. Let's be honest. But 
Hopefully you guys do enjoy the rest of this gameplay. If you guys want a paid badge, go ahead and message me on PSN or Twitter. You can do any platform, PC, Xbox, or PS4. And yeah, hopefully you guys do enjoy the rest of this gameplay. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. I gotta get him. He, he got me. New kill leader. Give my shields a recharge. Bro, how the fuck? Like, whatever. This alternator's dog shit. I fucking hate it. Hold that, man. Bruh. I got a light extended mag in here for you. No, it's purple. I don't need it. God damn it, bro. That was so lame. We're inside the next ring. Plastic traps over here. Heavy. Heavy. Wait. Being rezzed. Oh fuck.
almost a fucking car thing again. Up. Any energy anywhere? There's a res to the left. Weasel took my fucking kill. Healing up. Eyes are open though. Hostile over there. Stitch them up good. Give my shield a recharge. Nice. On the right track. Okay. Going to face. 
fight this team. Kill confirmed. Another notch on the belt. Reloading. Reloading. Get behind us. That dude pulled up dummy crazy stupid in my face. Just vibing in there. Bloodhound like climbed up the ledge, uh, the one back there. He climbed up the ledge, and I went to go like aim down at him, and like I like you flew for like I champions. got pulled forward or some shit because the aim assist, and he was climbing up at the same time. He like fucking bonked me off. Huge.